Hello, this is Mr. Stansbury. Welcome back to the exciting conclusion of quadratic models. This is part two of two. Um, basically, this is just the second example. Okay, so um, again, at the end of this, you should be able to solve. I say I can solve real world type problems using quadratic functions. All right, second problem, similar to, but not the same as example 22. LaFonda is building an alpaca abode. She has 120 feet of fencing to enclose the abode. Uh, where one side is an existing wall of a t of tortilla chips. Hopefully the alpacas do not like to eat the tortilla chips. Um, but suppose the two new side walls are X feet long. So this is X. This would also then be up here would be X. Show that the area enclosed um, would be this here. Okay. So here's what we need to do. She's got, what, 120 feet of fencing, right? There it is. 120 feet of fencing so that needs to be that's going to be all this yellow right here would be the 120 feet total and we're trying to make the largest um the, well we're going to eventually find the uh the dimensions that we're going to try to make the abode of the maximum area but anyway so that the area enclosed is going to be this here so here's what i would think that we'd want to do so let's say these are x's we'll make this then the y right let's say if we for the x's chose um you know it doesn't matter let's say we chose 20 feet so this would be 20 feet this would be 20 feet that's 40 feet of our 120 so this would be 20 20 and then this would be 80 okay so um really here this side over here is going to be twice this x we're going to take the 120 and subtract twice x, right? So we do y is really 120 minus the two x sides because you're going to have, again, if we did 20, that would be 20 and that would be 20, that would be 40. 120 minus 40 would leave us with 80 on this side here, okay? So whatever you have left after these two sides is what's left for the y, which is going to be 120 feet minus these two x's, okay? So now the area would then be x times... 120 minus 2x and look there we go area equals x times 120 minus 2x square feet so the area will be that so we got exactly that so we showed it because that's the big key here is showing what that y is the same thing as 120 minus the two x's okay which i know is a little bit of a, a leap for some people They're like wait what in the world does that mean Please, 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 if you're stuck on this, make sure that you ask questions when we uh, meet together, okay? Um, moving on to B, uh, find the dimensions of the abode of maximum area, okay? So we want this to be of maximum area, okay? So that means basically what's going to happen is this graph here, if we're going to graph it, it's going to look like this right here is going to be our maximum area okay so we got to find that and so look we have our we have our quadratic so let's just distribute this through and re um, reorganize here a little bit so we do a equals so this was part a this is part b uh, x times 120 is 120x x times negative 2x is negative 2x squared okay now again we just reorganize it to be negative 2x squared plus 120x plus 0 if we're going to put the c in there and now to find that x value remember we would just do x equals negative b over 2a so in this case here x equals negative 120 all over 2 times negative 2 so we get that x equals negative 120 over negative 4 so that's going to be x equals 30 okay so if these are both 30s this is 30 and this is 30 to find what the y is we were just going to simply plug 30 into that x so we would do 120 minus 2 times 30 120 minus 60 gives us that the y part is 60. so find the dimensions of the abode of maximum area it's going to be 30 by 60 and this is what feet 30 feet by 60 feet and that's the abode of maximum area okay 
All right, that's all we have for the second example of quadratic models. That is indeed the exciting conclusion of this video. All right, if you have any further questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks.